The developers of 3660 on Richmond call it apartment luxury redefined upscale living in the perfect location close to Greenway Plaza. On their website, they say they're proud to be a partner in the City of Houston's Workforce Program, but they don't tell you exactly what that is. We will. The folks at 3660 agreed to lease at least half the apartments in this 295-unit complex to families who can't afford to pay the normal rent, the market rate, including 30 apartments for much lower-income families. In exchange, this apartment complex doesn't have to pay a single penny of property taxes. Hasn't since 2019. That cuts about a third of their annual expenses. The Houston Housing Authority Board voted to do this real estate deal with the Morgan Group in the name of helping solve Houston's supposed affordable housing crisis. It was a sweet deal for the Morgan Group. The $54 million property tax exemption saves them about $1.2 million a year in taxes. And it's not the only Morgan property getting this sweet deal. This is Caroline on Voss, another $61 million apartment complex that no longer pays property taxes. Then there's North Post Oak Lofts, $71 million gone off the tax rolls. They don't even mention they've got affordable housing here. There's more. Closing statements show Morgan Group on at least six real estate deals with the HHA. The company looks like they're linked to five more. The housing authority simply hasn't released closing statements on some of the completed real estate deals they've made with your money. We've been raising alarm bells since early 2020 that the unelected housing authority board should never have been allowed to do this. They've taken at least $1.2 billion off our local tax rolls. That's billion with a B. And no one elected any of them. They were all appointed by Mayor Sylvester Turner. This tax giveaway, it's good for at least 75 years. Some of the deals are 99 years. Let's do a little math. We figure we're losing about $35 million a year in tax payments from all these real estate deals, at least the ones we know about. That's less money for schools, cops, firefighters, the Port of Houston, flood control. We calculate that we'll lose $3.6 billion in the life of these deals and counting. And there are controversial real estate land deals on the East End that haven't been built yet. That will add a lot more. Remember, we spent $13 million on dirt that's too contaminated for public housing. It's awful, awful what they're doing to our tax base and our, and our schools and, and firefighters and police. Everyone should be outraged. You'll be even more outraged when you learn that the housing authority isn't even making sure that these apartment complexes are actually doing what they promised they would. How many affordable houses are we even creating for this multi-billion dollar giveaway? The developers promised they would report to the chief appraiser every year, Roland Altinger, so their tax exemption could be verified. The folks at 3660 haven't done it, neither has Caroline on Voss, or the folks at North Post Oak Lofts. And they're not alone. Virtually all of these apartment developments are breaking their promise to the government. When you brought it to our attention, we took a look at it and went, wait a minute, we have this language in here, and yet we have less than a handful of documents that these companies have provided. The chief appraiser has now launched an audit of this property tax giveaway, ordering dozens of apartments to prove by July 21st that they're legally getting the tax break, which could include a review of their rent rolls. If we need to, we will cancel the exemption. The tax code does allow us to go back, as with any exemption, um, for up to five years and cancel an exemption that we don't believe qualifies. It's long past time for Houston City Council and the school board to demand accountability. Ask a simple question, just how many apartments are being used by families versus the money we're giving away? It's clear the Houston Housing Authority doesn't want you to know the answer. This whole thing is, is a scam. And and we've known it's a scam for over a year. After we asked to see rent rolls from HHA, we learned they don't ever ask to see them. 
After we asked under state law, maybe we inspired them. They finally did ask, and not everyone answered. But 3660 was one of the first ones we saw. Far fewer than half the apartment units are even listed as affordable housing. What does that mean? In May, the apartment management sent this internal email admitting less than half of the apartments supposedly set aside for poor families were even occupied. They called full occupancy a goal. That's funny. When we call this week, they told us their affordable units were few and far between. Yes, the next time I'm going to have a uh, PFC unit available is going to be till August 3rd. I didn't even tell them how big of an apartment I wanted. Do you have two bedrooms as well? I do have one two bedroom that's uh, participating in the program. Let's go back to government way school. I hate to burst your cherries, guys. Well, actually, I want to. We told you in May that these real estate deals are sometimes giving away sales tax too. We found internal emails involving another big affordable housing developer, Tom Bacon. But we ended up exposing more than just another tax giveaway in the name of affordable housing. The Housing Authority Board even came up with a scheme to profit off your sales tax giveaway without even telling you about it. You gotta love a runaway, out of control, government agency. The Housing Authority kept for themselves tax money that was never meant for them. Emails reveal even the developers were taken back by the scheme. Quoting, HHA shared that their take on the sales tax exemption is 25% of the savings, which surprised me. Sounds kind of like a shakedown. Doesn't the mob do that? I'm going to make them an offer he can't refuse. The mayor has been silent. Life is not always fair. So as city council, guess they don't care that they're getting ripped off. We've been asking for months to see the rent rolls for all these places that are benefiting from this tax giveaway. So far, we've seen only five. One of them was 3660. We counted more than 437 empty affordable housing units in the five apartment complexes we were able to audit ourselves. And there are dozens more apartment complexes getting this deal. How about a little math for you folks? Admittedly, not my best subject. Not to pick on 3660, but let's say they rent these affordable units for $250 less a month. Over 12 months, that's about $450,000, less than half of what they're saving on taxes. Good for them, but is it really good for us? It's a good time to end new tax giveaways while we account for the ones we've already given. How about transparency? Of course, that slows down the paydays for the folks who are cashing in on many of these real estate deals. The developers, the HHA law firms of Lock Lord, Coach Rose, and the political insiders we've been watching very closely. The pair that seems to get in the middle of so many Houston Housing Authority real estate deals. The former Housing Authority chairman, Lance Gilliam, and his partner, Leisha Green Ellis, the wife of Harris County Commissioner Rodney Ellis. On just the six Morgan properties we have records about, Waterman Steel was paid $768,000. But that pales to the billions the unelected housing authority has already given away in tax breaks. Half that money was originally going to go to our schools. The whole thing is a wake-up call to taxpayers. The big loser is the school district, and the school district can ill afford. Nearly two years ago, members of Houston's business community warned Mayor Sylvester Turner this was no way to create affordable housing. If the mayor really wanted to stop this, he could pick up the phone and stop it. Absolutely because he, again, appoints all of the people that head the Housing Authority. So what does it tell you? That he doesn't want to stop it. 